Here in the Silicon Valley, we often introduce people for the very first time to the Bible and to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And as we're reading one of the four Gospels of the New Testament together, looking at various events in the life of Jesus, I tell them at the very outset to look for about five things. Look for what Jesus says. Pay special attention to what he actually does. Look for his advance notice and how ancient prophecies are fulfilled in his life. Look for the claims of who he actually was and is. And then look at the evidence for eyewitness testimony as eyewitnesses were on the scene for virtually everything that he says and does. And the testimony is, is rendered in their lifetime and makes its way into the pages of the New Testament. These five pillars form a powerful piece of evidence that validates who Jesus is and what he can do for us. So we'll take them one by one. Today I'd like to look at, at Jesus' words, what he actually says. Simply put, he was the world's greatest teacher. No one ever did it better. He often got people's attention by saying absolutely contradictory things that are absolutely true. The first will be last, and the last will be first. Matthew 20, verse 16. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. Luke 18, 11. He freed the elbows from their urge to push and shove, to be the best, the first, the foremost, better than everyone else. I have a, an ex-Muslim friend who's now a Christian. And when we studied the Bible together for the very first time for him, he was deeply impressed about Jesus' teaching concerning loving your enemies praying for those who persecute you and misuse you. It made a profound impression upon him. When Jesus teaches the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5, he talks about a riffraff of people completely disrespected by the power elite of first century Judaism being heirs of the kingdom of heaven the poor in spirit, those who mourn, those who are meek, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, the merciful, the pure in heart, the peacemakers, those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. These are the ones Jesus says will be blessed. And then he turns around and says that this, this very group of people despised by the world around them are going to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. They are going to be the ones who, who really have an impact in this wicked world. And he's constantly saying those kinds of things. Things that cause us and force us to think, things that challenge us at the core. On one occasion, he was teaching in Jerusalem and his enemies, Jewish religious leaders had sent the temple police to go arrest him. The officers come back empty-handed. They, they don't arrest Jesus. They're spellbound by what he had taught. And the Jewish leaders ask, well, why didn't you arrest him? And the answer is in John chapter 7 and verse 46. No one ever spoke like this man. Indeed, the more you get to know the teachings of Jesus, the more you will be challenged to think this is not an ordinary person. In fact, 
What he says leads me to believe that he knows me better than I know myself. And it certainly makes all of us better people. If you'd like to learn more about Jesus' teachings and its relevance to your life, we'd like to help. Visit our website at santaclarachurchofchrist.com.